Hello, everyone. Welcome to the ISU Up Again campaign and What to Watch series. I'm your host, Ted Barton, and the ISU is offering streams of the 2017, 2018, and 2019 ISU World Junior Figure Skating Championship. So let's go back to 2017 and the Paris Free Program. Well, this event was not easy to judge for sure, and it sounds crazy when one says the result of the free program, then the overall result of this event. First ends up fourth, second ends up first, fourth ends up second, and thank gosh, third ends up third. Sounds normal to me. However, as we all know, lots can happen between the short program and the free, and in this event, it did. Let's dive inside the winning free program, which was just three and a half points shy of getting a medal. Eighth after the short, but winning the free, Amina Atakanova and Ilya Spiridonov of Russia skated to singing in the rain and brought a very nice program to the ice and top position in the free. Well, it's so nice when a pair team puts a, an aspect of ice dance together and mixes that with all the difficult elements of para skating. And this young team had a very nice program indeed. Great speed coming down to the ice for their first element. It's a setup. Triple toe, nice. Little far apart, but nicely executed. Here's the twist. And a solid throw. The speed and flow they're covering the ice with. There's another solo jumps, double axle. Good save. Just single jumps after that double axle. Backward entry to a flying sit spin and a change. Wow, not an easy combination spin with a change of foot at all. And pretty nicely done. Five axle lift. Grabs the blade, one hand, and a simple dismount. Second throw. Nice. And a group three lift. A little slow after it got all the way up. Oh, a little bit stumbling, but hung on. Pretty solid technical program and nicely presented. Good choice of music, well choreographed and well delivered. A 
such a nice program by Amina and Elia. They were eighth after the short, but won that free program. What a wonderful job indeed. Well, overall consistency is so important if you want to win an event. And although Ekaterina Alexandrovskaya and Harley Windsor did not win either the short or the free, in this case, a third in the short and a second in the free equals a first overall and takes them into the history books by becoming the first Australian skaters to win an ISU championship event. Let's take a closer look at their program Skated to We by Abel Korzanowski. Such a good choice of music. Sweeping power across the ice. Here's the twist. Nice catch, good flow. Opening jump, triple Salkow. Beautifully done. down the ice, there's triple toe, double toe, another double toe, beautiful. Here's the throw, triple flip, right on top. Let's look at the turns. A little bit of loss of control on that dismount. Not a major loss of points. It's a quality item. Good unison on that first side of the spin. a slower pace to keep the energy and the attention to detail. So far, so good. Second throw here. Second throw triple Salkow. Oh, just could not get the free leg back. Too far back on the heel and the landing. Need to keep it together the rest of the way. Much better turns on that lift, a little slow on the dismount, but overall pretty good program. Difficult elements, and for the most part, pretty well performed. The back outside death spiral. And low pivot. Well, very nice job by Ekaterina and Harley, which brought them into the history books of the Australian Ice Skating Federation. 
Well, leading after the short program, Alexander Boykova and Dmitry Kozlowski of Russia looked nervous in making some uncharacteristic mistakes, ending up fourth in the free, but it was enough overall to take home the silver. Let's see what happened as they skate to Tristan and Isolde by Maxime Rodriguez. has such great desire that sometimes it brings a little tension to the program. Here's the triple Sockhouse. Oh, good save by Dimitri. Just off in the air, but he fought that landing and hung on. Triple toe, double toe, double toe combination, a little far apart. Oh, what a nice twist. Concentration going into that forward inside death spiral. A little slow, but they get it done. Difficult lift, but on the toes as she landed on his hands. Really slow lift down the ice. That would be a little costly on the GOE. Out, has to step out. You can see just a little bit tired or nerves or something, just small little details that are costing them points as they go along in the program. And in a competition so tight, those few points can truly make a difference. Throw triple loop, two foot landing, another small mistake. done not with the best of quality like this team is used to showing it's a bit of a struggle throughout this program And you can see just slow transitions. They're struggling and fighting all the way. Well, this is a very good team that did not have a great skate here at the Junior World Championships in 2017. Of course, they've come a long ways over the past three years. European champions now here in 2020 Alexander was not their Oba day there on the 2017 Junior World Championships. Well, grabbing the bronze medal in this event, Yuming Gao and Zhang Zi of China skated to Crunchy Granola Suite by Neil Diamond. They held on to third overall 
with this performance. Good speed coming into the twist. No split, but nice twist the rest of the way. And this team just did not produce a triple jump here at these championships, but some other really excellent quality in some of the other pair of elements. Double Salkows. Very nice flow and turns over the ice on that lift. Throw triple toe loop, nicely done. Beautiful throw, Triple Salka, great height, great flow. Of course, the Chinese pair of skaters known for huge throw jumps. Final lift here, group three, reverse rotation, back the other direction. Not easy at the end of the program. There we go. Gao and Z of China, second in the short and third in the free as they take home the bronze medal. Well, as I mentioned before, it takes a long time for junior pairs to learn the tricks of creating magic in performance, which is more about non-technical skills, such as how do two people skate like one? How does a couple in the physically demanding discipline of pairs show a caring and growing relationship throughout their performance? Well, it's all about time, and that's the one thing you can't buy. Patience is required. I would like to take a special moment to commemorate the 2017 ISU World Junior Figure Skating Champion Ekaterina Alexandra Voskaya, who tragically passed away this summer. She was a beautiful and talented young lady 
who with her partner has gone down in history by claiming multiple first medals for Australia, including this World Junior Championship title. They also went on to win the ISU Junior Grand Prix of figure skating final in 2017 and competed in the 2018 Olympic Winter Games. We'd like to express our heartfelt condolences to her family and friends. It is a tragedy and she will be greatly missed. We hope you've enjoyed our presentation and invite you to join us again for the ISU What to Watch series covering the Junior Worlds 2017, 18, and 19. I'm Ted Barton. Thank you for watching. Goodbye, everyone.